My name is Giovanni Lapenti. I am from Ecuador, Guayaquil, Ecuador. I've been playing professional tennis for 15 years. I met Dr. Vadia a year ago when I came here with a back problem and they recommended I use the Arp Wave. One day, while in therapy, Dr. Vadia walked in the room as he always does to greet all of his patients and that's how we met. A while after that, I suffered a hand problem and obviously, without being his specialty, I came directly to him. Luckily, I was able to see him immediately. He analyzed the hand and as it was nothing serious, I kept playing. But after a while, I started feeling the symptoms again, and I decided to go back and see him. That time, we decided to do a small infiltration. And it's been about a year since that, and I can say I haven't felt any pain at all. Then, about middle of last year, I began to have problems in my elbow. We did an infiltration because I wanted to play a tournament that was very important to me. He did not really recommend it, but since I said please doctor do it for me he did it and i was able to play the tournament actually and had a very good result reaching the semifinals but after that tournament having played seven matches in consecutive days my elbow began to hurt again i've been here now for about a month and maybe i should have done an mri before but i thought it was going to heal by itself and that was not the case uh, i got an mri done here at orthona a few days ago and we could see that it was something that only time would not heal, especially as a professional tennis player, when I have to recover as soon as possible. So we decided to proceed to the Tenex procedure, an intervention that we're going to undergo a little later. Well, we are here with Giovanni, who has been suffering from his tennis elbow for over six months, in fact, uh, almost a year. This is a very common diagnosis, uh, certainly amongst tennis players as well, but it's important to understand that the general population suffers a lot from this. In fact, I suffered when I was a surgical resident and I can tell you it was terrible. Raising a coffee mug would hurt, shaking hands. Uh, I remember very well and yet I didn't play tennis at that time. Ironically, now that I play, or I should say I'm learning to play, I really don't have this pain. So it's, it's a biologic issue. It's a problem with blood supply to the tendon and that is a problem. So people think it's directly from playing tennis, but not at all. At the beginning, when treating this condition, we use ice, we do see inflammation, stretch, try to do things that will improve the blood supply to the tendon. If the symptoms don't improve, it's time to see a specialist. Really, it should be an elbow specialist because we can do things much earlier that can help. Uh, for instance, we use ARP Wave, which is a neurotherapy for conservative treatment. Uh, this neurotherapy leads to decreasing inflammation and the muscle is strengthened. Now, in the event that conservative treatment fails, there is a procedure we're going to do today called 10X. It's basically a debridement of the tendon without having to open. Traditionally, open surgery is where you, you lift up the tendon, scrape it, remove the bad tissue and close it. However, it's very painful. It, it usually provides months of discomfort until you get recovery to be able to play a demanding sport such as tennis. It can be almost six months of recovery. However, with 10X, the uh, pathology, which is here at the origin of the tendon, is addressed by, by removing it ultrasonically. So the extensor brevis, which is one of the tendons that extends the wrist, is basically uh, removed with ultrasonic energy. Uh, basically, there's a lack of blood flow, meaning there's micro trauma from daily activities or sports or work, such as a handyman or construction worker, and what happens is the tendon never really heals. So that's why we let the affected area rest for a while, but when it doesn't improve, we have to remove that tissue. Therefore, we essentially melt it away with uh, ultrasound, and then we suction it to remove that tissue and take it out of the area. And that's what we're going to do with 10X. You will see that the ent entrance is through a very small hole. We don't even use stitches where we extract that tissue. The patient has minimal discomfort and the recovery to normal activity is actually almost immediately. What does take some time is returning to uh, difficult or, or heavy uh, jobs such as mechanics or manual workers and in certain sports such as tennis. Okay, ready to do this? Let's do it. Are you nervous? Not at all. 
Well, Giovanni, you are ready? Ready for the surgery? Yes, yes. Ready and very warm. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. A little bit of pain, but minimal, which is, I think, normal. I'm just glad it's over. Uh, I know I was in, in good hands, so I wasn't even worried about it. Well, it's been three weeks in surgery, and to be honest, I'm very happy. The sensations I have are very good. Three days after the surgery, I had full mobility on my arm, and obviously, because what was done inside, I feel a little bit of pain, but I have full mobility of my arm. I've been gradually recovering my strength. In theory, I have six weeks until I can play tennis again, and we're already halfway there. I would tell you that I think I could play today, but that's why time frames are given. So I'm going to continue doing my rehab so that the treatment uh, remains a success. In fact, uh, sometimes when I look for the scar, I can't even find it. You know, there was times when it affected me in everything from daily activities such as serving a glass of water or anything you can imagine. I really, really want to thank Dr. Badia and his team. I am slowly becoming more tranquil and the pain is no longer there. I just need to strengthen it a little bit more and we're ready to move forward. Thank you very much.